So one of the big differences between a perfectly cooked steak and just a cooked steak is cooking it evenly all the way through. So we're going to try that with these two beautiful New York strip steaks. So I've st uh, first tip is that you want to make sure you kind of have these at room temperature. They've been sitting out for a good half hour or more. So they are at room temperature. Then we're just going to go ahead and season them. Now I'm using some of my own SPG here and I'm going to plate, put it all over this New York strip. Just salt and pepper or some of your favorite all purpose or SPG seasoning is all you need. And uh, the second tip is you want to go ahead and season it generously. You want to make sure the corners, the sides, everything has plenty of seasoning on it. That's going to help build a nice crust uh, for the final product of this steak. So we're going to go ahead and make sure we get all the sides for the most flavor. And we're going to get both sides of this steak, of course. And we want to make sure it's done generously, just like that. My third tip is make sure your grill or pan is hot. Also, if you're using a grill and you can do so, have the flame. And we're just going to go ahead and put these two steaks, New York strips, right over that fire. That hot, hot, preheated fire, just like that. And I'm going to cook these for two minutes. And also, add me some asparagus here to cook as well. Two minutes count down now. And then look at that. Whoa, is that not cool? We're going to flip them. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful sear. Now for this side, we're just going to do about a minute and let them cook like this. Just kind of let them cook. I'll go ahead and close this. Now because these are so thin, I'm actually going to cut it to about 30 seconds and move them to the side. So our first tip was room temperature. Second tip, season well. Third tip is hot preheated fire. Now we're just going to cook them until it gets to 130 degrees. That's a good temperature, and they're almost there, for a good medium rare. Okay, we're gonna let these cook for just a moment more. I removed them from the grill, and we're gonna take them in, and the final tip, let them rest. So we're gonna rest these five minutes and cut into them. While they're resting, I'm just going to add a little butter on here to let it melt on the steak. Add a little nice flavor. Here it is. The butter has melted. It looks fabulous. And we're going to go ahead and cut into it. I don't know. We're looking for medium rare. Maybe a little over. But uh, let's go ahead and try this out. It's uh, maybe well done. A little pink, not by not Try this one. Oh, now well, that one's perfect. Look at that one. That one look a little better? Yeah. So let's go ahead and try this out. Let me cut another piece. Cut some of this up here. That. Look at that. that looks good. Nice and juicy. Very juicy. Mm. <laughs> wow. Mm. That's good. Show the cat there wanting a little meat, wanting a little steak. Steak was a little thin, had it hot, that's really, really good. Could have cooked it a little bit less, but wow, 
three step, those five steps right there. Make sure you got the steak set out to room temperature so it cooks evenly, good seasoning. Preheat the grill, check the temperature, and let it rest. Those are the steps to some great steak. I'm going to enjoy this, and uh, cheers.